So hello friends, once again welcome back to the Automation Revolution, uh, this channel of uh, Industrial Automation Learning for uh, PSC, SCADA, uh, DCS, HMI and this type of uh, different technologies uh, that we are uh, going to uh, learn in this Industrial Automation channel. So if you like our videos, you can share and subscribe uh, and uh, you can also make a comment uh, if you have any query or questions. So today in this video, I will explain you uh, one traffic signal controlling using uh, different timers so in basic uh, instruction video you uh, seen or you uh, already uh, know about different timers like t on t off and uh, pulse timer retentive timer that we have used in siemens plc so in this video uh, i will explain you uh, traffic signal controlling so uh, the application is when we are giving input there are three lamps red lamp yellow lamp and green lamp so this lamp will turn on uh, as per the sequence first red lamp will turn on for 5 second and then yellow lamp will uh, turn on for 7 second and last green lamp will turn on for 10, uh, 10 second one second yellow lamp uh, will turn on for 3 second and the cycle will continuously uh, going on uh, until we press the stop button so let's start first i will press uh, this start button so you, you can see red lamp is on for 5 second and then yellow lamp will turn on for 7 second and uh, in last green lamp will turn on for 10 second once again uh, yellow lamp will turn on for 3 second and cycle will continuously uh, repeat so this is our logic and uh, behind uh, this SCADA animation I have made PLC ladder logic using timers so that we need to learn in this video so i hope uh, you got uh, this programming cycle uh, how the cycle is going on and now based on this cycles uh, we will develop uh, plc programming so keep watching uh, this video uh, up to end so now i will exit uh, this screen and once again we are back in uh, siemens ti portal software So here uh, you can see I have configured Siemens PLC 1214C 1200 series uh, S7 PLC and in main OV I have made uh, the program for uh, this traffic control signal. So first you can see uh, I have used one start button and a stop button. So from there I can uh, set this memory bit M0.0 set and reset. So from start button I can set this memory bit M0.0 and from the start button uh, I can make this memory bit reset. The same memory bit I have uh, taken in second network for red lamp. So this is the logic for red lamp. So first uh, we will take open contact M0.0 that uh, turn, turn on from, uh, from the start button. And uh, you know about T on timers. Uh, T on timer is uh, on delay timer and uh, as per uh, the preset time it will turn on the output after uh, 5 second so here I have given this 5 second and uh, after 5 second it will uh, turn on memory bit M1.0 so but in this in our case uh, we need to turn on red lamp for 5 second so I have taken inward for bit M1.0 so you can see after uh, M0.0 this timer will turn on and after 5 second M1.0 will be on. The same uh, this coil bit uh, I have used here as a NC contact and uh, this will be invert for bit M1.0. So the red lamp will turn on for 5 second and after that I will get uh, M1.0. So this will be logic for red lamp. After turning on red lamp I want to turn on red or yellow lamp so here I will use M1.0 uh, for second input for uh, second timer for yellow lamp the yellow lamp first turn on for 7 seconds so I have used here timers and giving 7 seconds so here also we are using yellow lamp output and uh, NC contact for making this invert for M1.0 sorry 1.1 so when I will press 
uh, input so after uh, this timer uh, first timer m1.0 will be on second timer will on turn on and uh, after 7 second this yellow lamp turns off but after uh, 7 second you, you will get the input m1.1 so that you can use in third lamp and uh, third lamp is green lamp so I have given 10 second time after 10 second this bit will turn on m1.0 and up to this this bit will be nc so it will be inward and uh, up to 10 second this green lamp turn on once again I want to uh, turn on yellow lamp so fourth timer I have used giving 3 second delay and uh, here we have used m1.3 memory bit that I have used in all logic for yellow lamp and last to uh, repeat the cycle I have given here m1.3 bit for this last timer so once again it will cut here and uh, all timer will be reset and it will turn on so now I will go online and uh, we will see monitoring so first I will give input from i0.0 so you can see the T1 timer is on and after 5 seconds this red lamp will be off now this timer second timer is on ok and uh, now this third lamp yellow lamp uh, green lamp uh, is on for 10 seconds and after this uh, this third uh, timer is going on and the cycle will repeat until you press the stop button now uh, we can see the program is working in SCADA so here I have made one screen and uh, given the tag in animation q0.0 for red lamp q0.1 for yellow lamp and q0.2 for green lamp here given range 0 and 1 for uh, color changes here for start and stop bit uh, we have given event here and in, in uh, event we have made this bit set and reset now we will go on runtime And now you can see a visualization as per our PLC program. So this timer uh, here we have used on timer T on timer. So when you give input after a certain delay, uh, this output will be on. So I have, uh, you are getting uh, this logic for traffic control signal and uh, based on this application you can make many different application uh, using timers T on T off you can also use pulse timer so when uh, there is single pulse uh, needed uh, to turn on timer in that case you can use pulse timer and if you want to uh, store uh, timer data in that case you can use retentive uh, types of timer if you have not seen uh, our previous video basic uh, instructions uh, for timers counters you can see uh, plc uh, logic uh, plc videos and uh, after that you can watch this uh, advanced videos so thank you very much uh, for watching this channel please share and subscribe as much as so uh, we will make different uh, videos and uh, we, we will provide you uh, technologies in industrial automation thank you very much for watching